parenthood can be one of the greatest joys in life, and it can also be one of the hardest challenges. Nothing could prepare one Lakeville family for what they were going to have to face. Their daughter was born with a rare genetic disorder, and there's no known cure for it. But as our Pauline Lee shows us, the family is on a mission to find one. In this Lakeville home, every milestone is important. We've really learned to accept the now, you know, and, and live in the present and celebrate the little wins. Tickler, tickler, tickler. With two growing girls. They're buddies. Parents Charlie and Megan Heap say life's blessings are bountiful. Life's busy. Yeah. <laughs> and it all starts with their first. That scared her. First steps. Should we practice standing first next? Words. Yeah, no. First birthdays. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, who is that? Moments they cherished with their first, Nora. Okay, Nora. You know, she was just the easiest baby. She looks too tired for it. Moments that are harder to come by with their second. <laughs> Lucy. Yeah, it's hard. It's overwhelming to think too far ahead because we don't know what Lucy's future will be. Lucy was born with CTN and B1, a rare genetic disorder that can impact every aspect of her life, meaning she may never walk or talk or live independently. I was just picturing a future that here's what I thought we were going to be with our two beautiful daughters, but now whew, huge recalibration of life to it's not going to look anything like we thought. There's only about 400 known cases around the world. Because it's so rare, there's not a lot of research on it. And what's worse, there's currently no cure. You'll do anything for your child. So we just want to give her the best we can. Shortly after Lucy's diagnosis, they came across the CTNNB1 Foundation, a nonprofit in Europe leading the research to find a cure through gene therapy. So we are all together fighting to get it as soon as possible. Spela Mirosovic started the foundation two years ago. She too has a son with CTNNB1. Pharmaceutical companies say it's too rare to care. But we mothers say it's too rare until it messes with the wrong mothers. Through the foundation, scientists around the world are working together to find a way to replace the defective CTNNB1 gene with a normal one they've replicated. We realize, oh, there is hope right away. There mm -hmm. is hope. Yeah. So I'm going to hang on to this. <laughs> but like many nonprofits, funding can be hard to come by. So the Hebes knew they had to help. They launched Lucy's One Razor on GoFundMe. It could change her future. The goal, to raise $100,000 for the foundation by Lucy's first birthday. Her computer. We don't want birthday presents. This is the biggest gift anyone could give. And the gifts came pouring in. Less than two weeks after they launched, they surpassed their goal. We kind of shot the moon, and we have been blown away. And people want to help, and mm -hmm. people care, and it means the world. We in Slovenia are blown away. So the future looks bright. I have to say, I mean, I have not been so hopeful uh, as I am right now. She's reaching again. The money raised will help with manufacturing the doses, which should begin sometime this spring. If all goes well, the first human clinical trial will follow early next year. She wants it. And with hope on the horizon, perhaps Lucy's milestones won't be too far off either. We hope she'll be walking. We hope she'll start to speak and say words. We'll take any of that. We want to be able to hear my daughter say, Mom, would be something I would hope for. Ready? Ready for that? Hello. Precious Lucy. Well, we are so happy to report that the family has surpassed their $100,000 goal. One way that you can support Lucy's one fundraiser is by shopping. Mainstream Boutique in Gold Valley is donating 20% of profits on Sunday, February 26th.